おはようございます。猫先生です。Hello, good morning. I'm Neko 先生。Today we'll be learning the first lesson of Let's Learn Japanese. So usually, a lot of places will start with how you introduce yourself and so on. But I think we can get straight to the grammar of Japanese. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. In English, okay, for for this sentence, I eat apples. It follows a person, verb, object, sequence. Correct, right? So I can be a subject. Verb verb usually uh refers to maybe actions like eat, run. Is etc. Apples, apples is definitely apples are definitely objects. Okay, in in Japanese though they don't differentiate between the plural like apple, apples. Okay, it can mean either way. Let's take a look at Japanese. Nihongo. Okay, can you read them? Watashi <laughs> wa. Means I. That's a subject. Lingo. That's apples. Tabemas. So that's verb. So they actually follow a different sentence structure. Subject, object, verb. Subject, object, verb. Okay. So watashi means I. Wa. Is actually a particle. They call it particles for subject. Is meant to be attached to the subject. Okay, to show that it is one. Then, lingo is a are apples or just an apple. What else? O is a object particle. Okay, so let's take a look again. Okay, so this is. Wa and wo. This is a subject particle. I'm sorry, ignore my nails. Subject particle. Okay, if you don't get the particles right, what happens? Okay, means the apples eat you. So you better get it right. <laughs> Object particle. Okay, if you have already learned your hiragana, you will know that hey, this is. This is pronounced as ha, okay. But as a subject particle, it is not ha, but wa. Okay, wo, wo pretty much sounds like o. You know this uh o. It's also pronounced. What what of them actually sounds the same? It's actually pronounced as o, o. Okay. So thank you for joining this lesson. There's still much more in lesson one. Please go on to the next video. Matane.